You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. Hello, I'm Larry Wilson. Please join me for another five-minute Bible study. I want to share a brief outline of what I believe the Bible has to say about end-time events. To begin, the Bible predicts five more world wars are coming. Four of these wars will occur between now and the second coming. The fifth war will occur at the end of the thousand years, and all of the wicked will then be destroyed. Two world wars have been fought thus far in history, so naturally the next world war will be called World War III, even though biblically speaking it is the first of five world wars to come. World War III will include something never seen before. There will be a nuclear exchange between nations. Ten million people will perish in a single day when nations launch nuclear missiles at each other. The nuclear bombs will be much more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped on Japan during World War II. But World War III will not last long. In fact, no one will win this war because Jesus will stop the war with four manifestations of divine wrath that have no equal in history past. The whole world will tremble when God's judgments begin. If you think it is terrible that 10 million people should perish from a nuclear exchange, what do you think of this? Approximately 2 billion people are going to die when God's wrath is released on earth. I have more to say about God's coming judgments and the Great Tribulation, but for now just consider the idea that the Great Tribulation begins during World War III. When God's wrath is poured out, great suffering, great tribulation begins. World War IV will begin about two months after the Great Tribulation begins. World War IV will last 42 months. Unlike previous world wars, this war will not be nation against nation. Instead, it will be more like a civil war where brother fights against brother. This war will be a contest between good and evil. And unfortunately, the Bible indicates evil will prevail. The Bible predicts the wicked will persecute God's people and ultimately conquer them. World War IV will end when Jesus tears down Lucifer's government during the fifth bowl. But we will study this situation in a later segment. World War V will begin about two and a half years after the Great Tribulation begins. This world war will be extremely deadly. The Bible says a third of mankind will be killed during this war. This war will take place after Lucifer and his angels are permitted to physically appear on earth. You may not know this, but Lucifer and his demons will be released from the spirit world so that human beings will be able to actually see them and touch them. Masquerading as Almighty God, the devil will perform all kinds of signs and miracles. He will gain a huge following. Eventually, he will demand that all religions and governments of the world be abolished because God lives among men. Lucifer will outlaw and abolish the governments and religions of the world, 
in order to set up his one world church state. The devil will sit on a throne and rule over the world as king of kings, that is, head of state, and lord of lords, head of the church, and mankind will be unable to stop him. The devil will rule over the world for about a year. He will exercise authority over life and death. Everyone who refuses to obey and worship him will be hunted down and killed. Everyone who goes along with him will be given a tattoo on the right hand showing the number 666. No one will be able to buy or sell without having the mark of the beast, which will be a very low-tech tattoo, the same kind of low-tech tattoo that Hitler used during World War II to mark his captives. World War VI is called Armageddon. During the last few days of the Great Tribulation, the kings and armies of the world will unite in an effort to destroy Jesus and the holy angels as they approach earth at the second coming. Men will use everything possible, including nuclear missiles and long-range rockets, to kill Jesus and the holy angels, but these efforts will do nothing. The battle of Armageddon will be a very short battle. Jesus will throw his enemies into a lake of fire, and the rest of the wicked he will kill by simply commanding them to drop dead. Remember this. The war called Armageddon is a man versus God war. Armageddon is not a war fought between nations. Finally, the fifth world war predicted in the Bible can be called World War Seven. Seven is a perfect number. It represents completion, finality. This war will be fought at the end of the thousand years. When the wicked are resurrected, to face the great white throne judgment, the devil will lead them into attacking the holy city, New Jerusalem. But Jesus will call down fire from heaven and burn them up. This fire will purify the earth of sin's curse, and after the wicked have been reduced to ashes, Jesus will create a new heaven and a new earth. Okay, we've considered five world wars to come. I know this is a gloomy prediction, but I want to assure you that God is deliberate and purposeful in everything he does. Therefore, he will accomplish many wonderful things as a result of these wars. Do not forget, there will be a nuclear exchange during World War III, and Jesus will end the war with a display of divine wrath that will dwarf the destruction of the nuclear exchange. In the next segment, I will explain how this happens. So please bookmark this video, share it with your friends, and hurry on to part two. You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio.